Drippet, isn't it great we've been getting so much rain lately? I'm sure all the dams are full. Well, Tapstar, it doesn't really matter how much it rains, we still need to save water. Every drop of water counts. Drippet, there's lots of water. See this map of the world? You'll see all the blue. That's the water, you know. Uh, Tapstar, I think I need to prove to you that every drop of water is precious. I will pour all of the world's water into this bucket. No! You'll flood the place! Tapstar, it's just a demonstration. Here we go! Here we go! All of the world's water in this bucket. <laughs> but Tapstar, we can't use most of this water because most of the water in the bucket is salty from the oceans. Well, how much can we use? I'm so pleased you asked. This cup is all of the fresh water we can use. So all of the water in the bucket is salty water and this cup is full of all the fresh water. That's right, Tapster. So um, that's good, isn't it? Well, we can't really use all of this water either because most of the water in this cup is frozen in the North and the South Pole. Oh boy, well, how much can we use then? This teaspoonful. Oh dear, that's not very much, but at least we can use that. Mm, we can't actually, because most of that water is under the ground and we can't get to it. Well, how much can we use then? Please, Tapstar, look after the water on the teaspoon. And I will show you exactly how much water we have that we can use. One drop. One drop? That is all the water we have that we can use for planting things, for animals, for making things, and for drinking. Hmm, Drippet, we need to save water, even though there has been lots of rain. Can you think of five ways that you can save water at home? 